Hi! Today I'm going to be showing you how to run the Project Zero, including getting started with wireless LAN station example, on the Simple Link Wi-Fi CC3100 Booster Pack and CC3100 Emulator Booster Pack by using Simple Link Studio with Microsoft Visual Studio. For this demonstration, we will need the following hardware. A CC3100 emulation board, a CC3100 booster pack with an included micro USB cable, an 802.11 BGN wireless access point, and a computer running Microsoft Windows 7 or XP operating system. You will also need to download and install the latest CC3100 SDK and Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, which is preferred, or a later version. Before proceeding to the download link, please go to ti.com and create a login account, or log into your existing ti.com account. Now, go to www.ti.com slash tool slash CC3100 SDK. Click on the link to download the CC3100 SDK. This contains not only the SDK, but Simple Link Studios as well. You will need to fill out the expert form before being allowed to download the installer. Run the installer of the SDK. Be sure to install the default directory of C T I C C 3100 SDK underscore 1.0.0 to follow along with this video. Installing to this directory is not required for the SDK to function properly. Your default directory might have a different number depending on the version of the SDK you are installing. Be sure to also download the CC3100 SDK service pack from the same web page as the SDK. If your firmware version is out of date, this demo might not work properly. Once you download the service pack, unzip the executable file contained and run it. You will need this file if you update your firmware. Now, go to www.ti.com slash tool slash uniflash. Click the Get Software link for Uniflash Simple Link. Fill out the expert form, download the Uniflash installer, and install Uniflash. While this installation is taking place, make sure the jumpers of the CC3100 are connected as shown. Now, take the CC3100 emulation board and set its jumpers like shown. Connect the CC3100 booster pack to the CC3100 emulation board. You can make sure the alignment is correct by matching the white triangles on both boards. Make sure you connect the J6 port emulator booster pack to the PC using the provided micro USB cable. Open the device manager by navigating to Windows, Control Panel, Device Manager, and click on the ports drop down arrow. You will either see two or four ports labeled CC3100BP, such as COM16 through COM19. Your port numbers may not be the same as the ones listed, but this is not an issue. Remember the second highest COM number listed of the four, or the lower of the two. Once the installation of Uniflash has completed, open it. Click the New Target Configuration button and use the default settings which should say 
Simplelink Wi-Fi CC3100 slash CC3200. Click OK to proceed. Where it says COM port, enter the second to highest COM number that we took from the device manager. Click where it says format, hit OK, and when Uniflash prompts you to please restart the device, press the SW2 button on the CC3100 booster pack, which is also labeled RST, to restart the board. Once this operation finishes, select the Service Pack Update button, then navigate to the folder where you saved the CC3100 SDK Service Pack Update, which contains the latest firmware. Click the Service Pack binary file, named Service Pack underscore 1.0.0, or whatever is the latest version number, .bin, and select Open. During the installation, you will be prompted to restart the board again. When you see this prompt, hit the SW2 button on the CC3100 booster pack to restart the board like before. Make sure the installation finishes successfully. To install Microsoft Visual Studio's version 10 or later, please refer to this link to the Microsoft website for Visual Studio Express. Once you have the required software installed, we can move forward with the Wireless LAN Station example. We will begin by making sure your boards are configured properly. Let's double check that the jumpers on the CC3100 booster pack are in the correct configuration. We will also need to make sure that the jumpers on the emulation board are correct as well. We can now run the Getting Started with Wireless LAN Station example for Simplelink Studio. Run Microsoft Visual Studio and open the Getting Started with Wireless LAN Station project. It's found here. Open Microsoft Visual Studio Express and select File, Open, Project Slash Solution. Navigate to C, TI, CC3100 SDK underscore 1.0.0, CC3100 SDK, Platform, SimpleLink Studio, Example Project VS, Getting Started with Station, and Open getting started.sln. Now we'll build the project by clicking Build on the menu bar, then selecting the Build Solution option. Once successfully built, we will run the program by clicking the Debug menu option, then selecting the Start Debug option, or by simply hitting F5. The program will tell us our driver version and build version, and that we have started in station mode. Now that we are running the demo, we are going to enter the name of our access point that we're using. Type in the SSID. Select the security type and finally enter the password. But again, these will be different depending on whatever access point you are using. Now the program is connecting to our access point and getting an IP address through DHCP. It's also checking the local connection by pinging the local area network and checking the internet connection by pinging ti.com. You should see these steps on screen. You have now run the example successfully. This is a good starting point for writing your own programs. You can also try our other examples for SimpleLink Studios, which are found in the same folder as this example. Happy coding!